Hey you guys, Dancing Souls. You know, I've been wondering, why do people break up with people? Well, for many reasons, for one. But when I look at myself, and then I, the first thing I go for is looks. Why people would get rid of me, I don't really look attractive. <laughs> and even though people love this, to just say I'm pretty, I'm not. I mean, come on, I could pick myself apart. I guarantee you, anyone watching this could pick apart me, particularly like I can. My teeth are not perfect. I'm falling apart. I'm 35. I only got maybe five more years to have more kids. So my time's limited, in a sense, of being useful when it comes to having children. And then I want to have more kids before that time is up. So it's not like I'm done. Um, so it's, not, you know. Um, my hair's going gray, as you can see. It's been going gray since I was 18. I just <laughs> kind of hide it. My eyes, look at this. Bags under my eyes, and I'm getting to sleep. I cry a lot. I'm very emotional. I'm very, I'm a very cuddly person. I love cuddling a lot. I'm a very attachable person. I got a boob on my head that I hide a lot because it's from, you know, back in the day when my ex-husband was really abusive and Unfortunately, when I get upset or anxiety, I start itching and it brings it back. So I haven't been able to heal it 100%. I'm clingy. Like, I don't look pretty. I mean, look at this. I've got no chin. Who would want a person with no chin? I know, I'm basically putting myself down in front of the camera. Pretty good, huh? I'm just understand there's so much wrong with me. Why would anyone want to be with someone like me? It makes sense why people keep leaving me. It does. I'm about to cry about it, but it's true. And then I got all these insecurities on top of all that people have left me with. And I can't really heal so much because I don't have people to help me with it. And then once I do, they leave. I'm not going to watch this video. It doesn't matter anymore. I just want to vent. I want somebody to talk to. You know how hard it is to freaking like counselors are expensive. Like hell, I can't afford a damn counselor. I'm going through a rough time. It's like everything's like going to hell in a half mask. And I lost my family too. I always thought that would be the other way around by losing my family. When I mean my losing my family, I mean my immediate family. I've been trying to get away from my family for years and I can't because it's always some kind of like fucking mind control or some bullshit they put me under and I can't get rid of them. Many, many years I've protected these fools and now today, finally they just got rid of me like I'm nothing. If only people knew exactly what my parents were really like. If only people knew the real people behind them and what they've done to me much during my life, including all the way till now. Yeah, they're mentally abusive. They're, that's for damn sure they're mentally abusive. <sighs> my friend, she's trying to help me through it a little bit, but I don't think she can help me with this. I don't think anyone can, to be honest, at this point. And as you can see, I just basically tore myself all down before your very eyes. Before I just got into my real issue. That's the only thing about me. Is I have so many issues that, that sometimes when I come off, I come off angry and whatever. And then when I, like my mother, she used to get angry. And then she start crying after that. And she then she picks. Or, you know, try to fix herself or something. And I have another friend text me right now. I just told them the news about losing my mom. You know, 
she doesn't want to watch my kid anymore, so I'm out of work in a sense. There's so much drama. My whole family's drama. And look at this. Even crying, I can still look fucking somehow decent in the face for some reason. I don't know how that works. I really don't. Now they're just trying to suggest me what to do. I have so many people trying to help me in a sense get to this moment and I can't. I'm stuck. I try to fix one I try to fix one something and then something else goes wrong. And then you have that. That just proves my point why your life is in chaos. I think that family member already give a to the huggy button and I tell the like button. I see you guys soon enough. I just I have more stuff to talk about. Way much more. And I know for a lot of people they're not gonna wanna listen to it or look at some girl that's just grown old. I know. I, I I'm very negative on myself. But then they say your own worst critic is yourself, so and to be honest, when you get, keep getting thrown away by people constantly in your life, you wonder. You really do start wondering. You start wondering if it's actually the way you look. And when I see myself even in this lighting, I don't look right. I've watched a lot of YouTubers grow old, too. And, uh, I wouldn't want to wake up every day seeing this face. Recording yourself. This is what I'm talking about. Strange things always happen. <laughs>